Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Reese52. That is all about DIY electronics projects with Arduino, Raspberry Pi, ESP8266 and other popular boards. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to make a relay control solenoid toll lock using Mega. This is going to be a very detailed tutorial explaining everything including how to interface 2.4 inch TFT touchscreen display with Arduino Mega and how to use a relay to control an electronic lock or e-lock. The program is done using the Arduino IDE. If you are new to the Arduino Uno programming, then it's highly recommended. You should see our tutorial on the Arduino IDE. That is how to write your first program with Arduino. To keep things, I have only set two buttons on TFT screen to input the password, which consists of 1S and 2S. As soon as, as the correct password is entered the door lock gets unlocked and then again gets locked after 30 seconds also the correct password must be entered within a time interval of 30 seconds to unlock the door once the entered password is wrong you need to enter press button that is reset button on arduino to try again so let's first talk about the basic electronic component used in this project so the components are right here arduino mega with USB cable, 12 volt normally open solenoid lock, an LED, 12 volt adapter, 5 fold one channel relay board, some male to male and male to female jumper wire, and 2.4 inch TFT touchscreen shield. It is suitable for Arduino Uno or Mega 2560. It can directly plug into the UNO or MEGA board without any wiring and soldering. This is 5-fold compatible. You can purchase all the components from our website 352.com and the link given in description. So let's start making the circuit. This is the circuit diagram. First of all, attach the TFT screen on the top of the Arduino MEGA 2560 such that all pins are connected well with the same pin as three point three volt pin of TFT connected with Arduino's Mega three point three volt pin. Now connect the negative pin of LED with the ground pin of Arduino Mega and the positive pin of LED with the 52 number of Arduino Mega. Now connect the relay. Connect the signal pin of relay module with the 22 pin of Arduino Mega. Then connect the VCC pin of relay board with the 5 volt pin of Arduino Mega. Connect the negative pin of relay module with the ground pin of Arduino Mega. The thing what you need to know about the adapter power supply to make a wire connection, you just cut down the DC jack and make the connections like this. Extend the connection by connecting the two jumper wires at the end of these both wires. You can use a 12 volt battery instead of this adapter if you have. Now we will connect the relay output pins with the solenoid and adapter pins. So connect the black wire of solenoid with the NC port of relay module. Now connect the positive wire of DC adapter with the red wire of solenoid. Now connect 
the black wire of 12 volt DC adapter with the COM port of 5 volt one channel relay module. As you can see, all the connections are completed. Now go to the code section. So now go to the code section. So this is the complete code. As you can see here, we using three libraries that is MCU friend, touch screen libraries, and the another one is GFX library to support the touch screen. So the links for all the libraries are given in the description. So after downloading, to install the library, just open the Arduino IDE software, then go to sketch, then click to include libraries and that add.zip library to add the libraries from the downloaded folder. Here you can change the password for TFT screen. So now upload the code. So as you can see, the code is completely uploaded. Now turn on the adapter supply. Now you can see the lock is in close or on condition. So here you can enter the password in 1S and 2S format. So we enter the password that is 1, 2, 1, 2. And the lock is open. So as soon as the correct password is entered, the door lock gets unlocked and then again gets locked after 30 seconds. So wait for the 30 seconds. If the entered password is wrong, you need to press the reset button right here and try again. So I hope the video will be helpful for you. Subscribe our channel to get more video updates. Thank you.